Now in this next part of the question, what we've got to do is find the shaded area that I've got here, TPQ. And what I've done is I've just copied down from earlier that the angle theta here was 1.076580 radians. Notice I haven't rounded this up, okay? If we round it up, we're possibly going to have rounding errors. Also, I've marked in the length of MP, which we worked out earlier, as the square root of 40. So, how are we going to work out this shaded area then? What we're going to do is work out the area of the right angle triangle, MTP, and take away the area of the sector TMQ. And that will give us the green shaded area. OK, so we start then with trying to find the area of the triangle MTP. So put that down here, area of triangle MTP. Now, normally the formula for area of a triangle would be half base times height, but we haven't got that information here. What we've got, in fact, is two sides and an included angle. And you should be familiar with the formula for working that out. Here it is over here. If you have two sides, let's say A and B, and an included angle C, say, the area is a half AB sine C. So I'm going to use that formula there, and that would be a half the product of the two sides, so that would be 3 multiplied by the square root of 40, and then that's multiplied by the sine of the included angle, which, remember, is the unrounded version up here, 1.076580, and so on, and it's radians, so I'll just put a little c there to denote that it's radians. So you need to work this out on your calculator, and if you do, as I say, make sure your calculator is in radians mode for this. What you should find is that you get 8.351645 and so on. And we're not given any units in this, like centimeters, so I'm just going to write that the area is units squared. Okay, so that takes care of the area of the triangle. So we just remove that from there at the moment. Next we need to work out the area of the sector TMQ. So how do we work out the area of a sector? Well let's just put an intro first of all. Area of sector TMQ equals, well, area of a sector. If you've got a sector and you've got the radius R and the angle between, remember that this sector is a fraction of the area of a complete circle. And that fraction will be theta radians over the angle in one complete term, which is 2 pi radians. So it's theta over 2 pi. That's the fraction of the area of the complete circle. So some of you might know this formula as a half theta r squared. That's because these two pi's cancel. Okay. So that's fair enough if you remember the formula for uh, like that. Okay. So the area of the sector then will be the angle, which we've got as 1.076580, and so on, all over 2 pi radians. And then it's of the area of the complete circle. So that would be pi times the radius squared. In other words, 3 squared. And if you work that out on your calculator, just because we're using radians now, because we're not taking a sine, cos, or tan, it doesn't matter if you're not in radians mode, but I dare say your calculator is still in radians mode, so what the heck, just leave it there. Anyway, so if you work that out, what you should find is you get 4.844611, and so on, units squared. OK, so we're on the final part now, so I'll just remove the formula for the area of a sector. And all we need to do now is to get the shaded area, TPQ, let's just say area, area TPQ, is to take the area of the triangle and subtract 
the area of the sector. So I'll just write that in. I'm not going to have much room here actually, so just squeeze it in as 8.351645 and so on. And then I'll just put minus the 4.84461 one and so on and if you do that what you should find is that you get 3.5070 and so on and remember we were asked to give this to three decimal places so that's going to be an area of 3.507 and I'll put units squared and that's given to three decimal places Okay, and that brings us nicely then to the end of this question.